Hello, everyone, and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George. I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we're taking a look at the 2016 title Oxenfree. It's a supernatural thriller created by uh, industry newcomer Night School Studio. And um, it's a game that was given to me by uh, Jam, Jam Meepler, so I want to say thank you for that. But uh, as of very recently, was available as a part of the uh, Twitch Prime program. And uh, that brought it to my attention once again, and I said, you know what, this game's done really well. Um, it's available on multiple platforms. I think maybe I should finally give this game a shot, because people seem to really enjoy it. Now, I'm playing this on Steam uh, on Windows, but it's also available on Mac, Linux, PS4, Xbox One, and also iOS. The game has apparently been doing very well, and uh, I'm curious about it, because I've seen some screenshots of it, and I like the way it looks. So we're going to jump in today and see uh, what the fuss is about Oxenfree. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. So already we have a really strong story starting. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, my... My mind drifted for a second. So you all moved in? Um, not... not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait. What happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. Aw, uh, that's downright adorable. Hmm. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. No, it that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... <sighs> The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny. That's all. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. I'm not sure. We, uh, need the girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out? Oh, there we go. I have to be on the left. There, Beautiful. great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy, the, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? Uh, There's the little there we guy. Go. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. 
Wait, what? Wait, what abduction? It's uh to the left of the dial. Eighty-eight point three. Not sure what that was. Anyway. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But oh, oh, actually, it's a little after ten o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. What a band name. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Hmm. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Hmm. I like the graphical style of this game. And uh, I, I like that it's uh, voice acted. And the voice acting seems pretty good. So there's our beautiful photo. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but... <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna... No, it's... It's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Hmm. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Well, how do you think I feel? My house just shrunk by half because my mom decided to get some in Florida. <laughs> No, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Hmm. I'm interested in these characters and the relationships between them. So that's pretty good for uh, happening so quickly. It's kitschy. Right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. <laughs> what? So, in order to check things, I do have to, like, physically get, like, up to them. If nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Hmm. Shift always gets out my radio. See if there's anything else. Doesn't seem to be anything else out there. Of course, they did say that it would stop working once we got to the island, so that makes sense. Uh, I think they block this off at night since... Nobody needs to use it? Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. 
I also like the, uh, the 2.5D nature of the game. I thought it was just gonna be, um, 2D moving back and forth, but, uh, this is pretty cool. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. 1023? I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October War 28th, 1943, is hell. <laughs> yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the 70s, but it was like literally Marines fighting Satan or dinosaurs or something. Named after the Hawaiian god. We're gonna turn that off. But that's interesting. So there's like little uh, things you can learn. office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um. All right. Man, Ren, uh, Ren really moved on, didn't he? Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick a freak. The beaten path officially ends here. Oh. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sound. It's um, It's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something? She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Hmm. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Thank you. I will. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. We, um, don't normally bicker so much. Yes, normally I just agree with whatever she says. So this is unusual. All right, so that was a big long cutscene because, like, when I got to this point, it everyone stopped talking. I was like, "Oh God, they wanted me to just kind of chill over here." All right, so let's see here. Um, now I had the option to press Control. 
control shows the map. I see. All right, so our friends are over here. Pretty big area. All right, so let's uh, let's go over here and see what this thing is. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. All right, let's push this thing. There we go. Don't help us, Ren. That would be asking too much. We did it. You proud of us? I'm proud of us. To the cliffs. All right, so got got there. So far, the story's really interesting. I like the idea of um, the premise being like we're gonna contact, well, not contact ghosts, but like get weird frequencies and stuff. The one hour has oh, passed. Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal. Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget- Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying- I was about to tell a story, what was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hold on, we're climbing a wall. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh... Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah! <laughs> sure. Alright, so... Let's head left. Because I guess that's where we're supposed to head. It's weird because I don't know... Often if I can walk, you know? Because I feel like if I get to a certain point, it may cut off the dialogue. That's my only worry. But it seems like maybe I could have been... Hearing about all this stuff as I walked. And maybe that was the intention. I think if the characters, like the NPCs, would be walking as they're doing that as they're talking, then I would feel more comfortable be like, oh, okay, yeah, let's let's have conversations. Also, the girl out in front reminds me a little bit of Kumatora. Just the way uh, she's dressed, I guess. Alright, here we go. Beacon Beach and Discovery Cliffs. Well, let's go to the beach. What are you guys waiting on? <laughs> you just gonna stand there? Um, yeah, so far it's it, very story-based game. I like the I like the graphics, I like the setup of everything. And, uh, I like the story. Hmm. 
Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And hmm. sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay. So, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Oh, oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm-hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. Oh, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Relax. Last I heard, he's still pining for Lindsay, his secret Canadian girlfriend. Yeah, well, I have a thing for hockey, so... Sure. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something? Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary screw kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait. Wait, that means you'd kill me? <laughs> Out of everyone here! Your best friend! Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said! Okay, settle down. <laughs> so, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass? Um, the... no, no. <laughs> yes? All right, let's, uh, make it something, um, uh, fun and easy now. Do you like Ren? Oh, Jesus. Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, please? Of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. I'd like to hear this from her. Thank you. You don't have to answer. I like Ren like a friend. Like, it, uh, I mean, there, he's he's a nice guy. You're, you're a nice guy. And uh, we goof off and, yeah, you know. Ta-da! All is right with the world. Oh, shut up. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with, like, a Native American poem written above it. I'd get, like, a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it. What's your point, Clarissa? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so... Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know... Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. 
Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that... You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should, like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt, or playing Ring Around the Rosie, happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Hmm. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Hmm. All right. We're, uh, we're moving on. Ren's Alex, over. you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Hmm. Seems like there's choice, or at least the come illusion on. of choice. <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh... So, he went to the that cave. Weird carnival? What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, All right. Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for uh not ratting me out to Nona during the uh the game. I didn't think you would, but you know you could have and you didn't, so thanks. Yeah, Ren. About Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like... I think you should go for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, you only live once, so... Oh, all right. I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Bra Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is gonna do it too. Right? Jonas? Mi comida, su comida? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Hmm. Alright. Looking for signals. We getting something? Not quite. No, let's try the other direction. Wait. Uh, Morse code? That's strange. Do you have anything to say about that? So, just pull out your radio. Of course not. Alright, well, let's keep going then. We hear anything that's not... Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How... how is this... how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. 
Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Hmm. Things are getting a little creepy. Nothing this way. Where are you? This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... <sighs> Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Hmm. Alright, let's give this a shot. More Morse code. Not that way. Uh... Where are you at? Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Satanic. Not what I was gonna say. But close enough. Wait, what was that? Uh... That's... There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last word. Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there. Like, a giant rabies-filled bat. Or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or, it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Do what? <sighs> Alright, I'm going in this cave. Hmm. So things are starting to get a little creepy in Oxenfree. It takes just this long for the, the story to begin to, uh, to show itself. But there's all sorts of character development right here at the beginning, which is really, really neat. And you learn different things depending on how you've answered uh, the other people. And I think that's really neat. Another hour's passed. It's 10 p.m. We're in the cave. Get a flashlight now. Jonas! Jonas! Hmm. See, I can I climb this wall? I can. The from the back, it just kind of reminds me of like a gorilla's character. Like I'm crawling the walls as 2D or something. There we go. Let go or just step down. Let's get up here. I'm assuming we'll run into uh we'll run into Jonas in just a moment. I'm real curious to find out what's going to happen though. I'm very much on the edge of my seat. Let's run across the hill here. You can hit spacebar to kind of jump over all this stuff. Jonas, are you alright? Shout if you're, like, bleeding or something! Hmm. I didn't really feel like Jonas was that far in front of us, but, uh... He really got a heck of a head start. But we're on our way. Let's see, down we go. Yeah, I gotta go down to the left. Oh, here we go. Is this the pool? Also, what is that? What is floating in there? What, what? Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? That's... weird. Also, once again, how on earth- did Jonas speedrun this? What? See a man about a dog. Sure, we'll do. 
Didn't you hear me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me? I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> well, where is he then? In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Alright. Well, let's do this thing. I mean, we're already probably in way over our heads, so we might as well continue and see what the heck happens. Cool looking crystals. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a ref reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows. It doesn't really look like a trick of light, Jonas. It looks like someone's science fair project just floating there. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. No. No way! There's like 20 things wrong with that idea, with the number one being radios don't conjure light beams. Come on, it happened outside. It's not that far-fetched. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Hmm. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. I'm looking. There's like music playing on this station. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. That's strange. Can you keep moving through it? Um. Oh my god. Is this. Are you. Is this. You? Are you doing this? What? Wait, why did you stop? We don't even know what that thing is. Yeah, exactly. Let's find out. Uh. Oh my god. Can I fine-tune it somehow? I think it's locked on to me now. Oh my god. I can't even, like, what is, what? I know, I, I know! Okay, let's keep searching through here. We're getting somewhere now. Gotta be. There's gotta be another frequency here that causes some crazy stuff to happen. It must be back the other way. It's still more screaming. Uh. Possible. 
This is insane. Uh, who... Are, are you... Who are you on the... Listen. Bob 2. She 2. Sleeping. Time. Time. Yeah. Is. Possible. I... I, I don't know what you mean, so I can't... Bob 2. Leave, children. Bye. Others will see you soon. Alex! What? What? Um, so that was crazy. I decided that that would be a really great place to, uh, to end the video. It's first 20. We went, you know, double that. And, uh, I don't know about you guys, but my interest is, um, extremely peaked. Um, this is the, this is the sort of game that, uh, I can really get behind. And this is the sort of game that is really fun to, um, to, like, play with Mao, uh, for, you know, a series on Steven Plays. So I'm not saying that it would happen, but... Uh, this thing really has my attention. Um, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look at Oxenfree. Um, it's definitely interesting. It had a it had a, a really cool character development and a lot of build up to that that last moment. And uh, I gotta admit, I'm really curious as to what happens after this. Um, but the game is available on Steam for uh, Windows, Mac, Linux. It's also available on Xbox One, PS4, and uh, as of recently ios as well so you can check it out for yourself thanks for watching and i'll see you next week for another Stephen plays first 20.